Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Please visit comlexflashcards.com for complete Comlex prep resources as you prepare for the Comlex board exam. Let's talk about polycythemia vera. Remember, it is a disorder where you have increased red blood cell mass or erythrocytosis, as does essential thrombocytopenia, chronic myelogenous leukemia, myelofibrosis with meta myeloid metaplasia. Uh, the incidence age is 60, but it's seen in a wide variety of patients, and understand that basically uh, patients die from thrombosis or uh, AML or MDS. Patients can also have hemorrhage, which is a key um, complication and why patients uh, should not undergo surgery or at least um, uh, have their risk for surgery assessed if they are having a risk for polycythemia. Clinical presentation, pruritus, especially following vigorous rubbing of the skin after a warm bath or shower. Uh, this is suggested that the mast cell decranulation and release of histamines play a role, and also release of adenosine diphosphate from red cells or catecholamines from adrenergic vasoconstrictor nerves when the skin is cooled may cause platelet aggregation and local production of factors. Patients have characteristically erythro Myalgia. This is burning pain in the feet or hands accompanied by erythema, uh, pallor, cyanosis, and in the presence of palpable pulses. So microvascular thrombotic complications are seen in polycythemia vera. Keep in mind you can see the this image here showing you the characteristic erythromyalgia. Okay, so keep that in mind for the boards. Patients have thrombosis secondary to increases in blood viscosity and platelet number. Approximately 15% of PCV patients with a prior major thrombotic complication like a CVA or an MI or DVT um, is very common. Now, de novo presentation of thrombosis in patients with Budd-Chiari and portal uh, splenic or mesenteric vein thrombosis is a reason to suspect PCV. Um, so, you know, there's several things you're looking at. You're looking at increased red cell mass, uh, the presentation with excessive histamine release, and this thrombosis secondary to increases in blood viscosity and platelet number, and its presentation with other disorders like a prior thrombotic complication or Bud Chiari. Also, patients have a high incidence of uh, epigastric distress and a history of uh, peptic ulcer disease and gastroduodenal erosions on upper endoscopy. And so this is another association you want to keep in mind. On physical exam, you'll find splenomegaly, facial plethora, hepatomegaly, injection of conjunctival small vessels, excoriation of skin suggesting severe pruritus, uh, stigmata of prior arterial or venous uh, thrombotic event, um, gouty arthritis, and of course erythromyalgia. Let's look at the diagnostic criteria. First, rule out secondary causes of erythrocytosis and physiologically appropriate causes can include chronic you know pulmonary or cardiac disease uh, decreased 2,3 bis uh, phosphoglycerate high oxygen affinity for hemoglobinopathy um, a residence at high altitude and other causes like adrenocortical hypersecretion hydronephrosis tumors affecting the erythropoietin um, all these are secondary causes of increased red cell mass that you want to make sure that you rule out before making the diagnosis. Diagnostic criteria includes uh, increased in red blood cell mass, as we mentioned, arterial oxygen saturation greater than 92%, and splenomegaly. The minor criteria are platelet counts greater than 400,000, WBC greater than 12,000, and elevated leukocyte alkaline phosphatase and vitamin B12 greater than 900. It requires all three major criteria and two minor criteria for diagnosis. Again, problems with uh, the criteria uh, is difficult because determination of red cell mass can be misleading if the patient is obese or fat. And that's why this is um, you know, a complicated diagnosis to make, usually after ruling out other causes. Patients with elevated LAP score is sensitive but not specific, and B12 studies are neither sensitive or specific. So again, this, these are just the revised criteria, pretty similar pattern. Um, on the boards, just keep in mind the hemoglobin, uh, increased red blood cell mass, platelets, splenomegaly, all these are key factors you want to focus in on.
How do you treat this? Well, the goal is to reduce the viscosity and reduce uh, hematocrit to less than 45. And the best uh, way to do this is through phlebotomy. Also, hydroxyurea, which acts as a non-alkylating mechanism to inhibit um, ribonucleotide diphosphate reductase, is involved in uh, DNA synthesis. So, you know, using hydroxyurea, patients have had decreased thrombosis compared to phlebotomy. Also, interferon alpha. This is uh, another um, medication that can be used, uh, but it has associated side effects including influenza-like syndrome, pyrexia, myalgias, etc. Gleevec, uh, we use this to treat CML. Um, remember, it inhibits tyrosine kinase, BCRABL gene. Um, has also been shown to be beneficial because of its activity uh, on JAK2. Here's the references. And again, please visit us at comlexflashcards.com and join our Facebook page as well as, you know, listen to various podcasts and lectures and case studies on comlexflashcards.com for both your USMLE, Comlex, and med school preparation. Good luck in your medical school career.